Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Well, it took me a little over a day to get all the fitting and finessing done, but everything is fitting really nice and neat. I did go ahead and, and mount the hardware. Um, nothing special about mounting hardware. The top's not attached yet. Um, there's still a lot of things to do. So let's get after it. And we're gonna start all these drawers that we put together with screws, they all have to get cherry plugs. So there's about, I don't know, I think I counted like 64 of them. So we'll cut some extras and we'll end up doing about uh, 70 plugs or so. And we'll get after those now. Okay, now that the back is cut to size, we'll go ahead and mark out for some screw holes. I'm just gonna come in an inch on each end, roughly, and one in the middle, and I'll just split those differences. That ought to be plenty for the back side. And I already set my depth gauge, so I can go ahead and get just a little hash mark on there where the screw goes. Put some pilot holes and some countersinks in there. Okay, we're just going to get this set in, get the holes spotted. It's going to be tall on the top because I want to flush to the top of this. So I've got to have it in place to do that. So that's what we're going to go for. Okay, and I'm just gonna use the block plane to flush up this top. There's not a lot there, so. And that ought to get her. Okay, so I know this is tough to see, but all I'm gonna do is go in here and pilot drill those holes that we put in the frame earlier to take the screw. I'm gonna switch my bits out. And insert that screw. Okay, well there it is. Construction is technically complete. And now we get to deconstruct it. I'll have to pull uh, all the hardware off the drawers and all the glides out and everything else, pull the back off, strip it down and get it ready for finish. We'll be going with uh, General Finishes Waterborne. Um, just, that's what I did on the uh, shaker tables and it just holds up really well. So I'm a fan of the finish. So I'll do a little touch up sanding and whatnot as I pull parts apart. And if I see something, I'll go ahead and tackle it then. So, Probably take me a good while here to get the shop set up to spray. Um, this is gonna have to be sprayed on my floor, so I think I gotta go pick up one more drop cloth, and then of course all the, the drawers and whatnot will go up on my bench. So 
Give me some time here, get the shop set up, and we'll go to shooting. Okay, well there it is guys, it's all finished up, it's reassembled in the house. Um, I'm just gonna let it uh, sit here for a couple of days and, and acclimate before I move it into our spare bedroom. So, hope you enjoyed this build, it was fun. Hats off to Mel Morris for the design, he was uh, a huge help in this. Also, hats off to Glacier Hardwoods, where I got my hardwood from. So, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the build. Till next time, take care.